We're going to show you how to create an RSS feed on your network. But before we do this, we do actually have a free service at repeatserver.com which allows you to create RSS feeds on the internet. Now the great thing about this is it can be remotely updated from anywhere and if you have like um, digital signage uh, machines with repeat signage on them playing at remote locations then they can all use the same feed. So it's a great way of actually remote up, remotely updating um, presentations. So I'm just going to shut this down. Now if I click on Utilities and RSS Feed Manager and add feed name, my feed, I'm just going to copy these details down. Right, the actual file name I'm going to create now an RSS feed file is just a, basically just a formatted text file with a series of news items in. So what we'll do is we'll add some news items to so get an idea for it. So let's give us say a schools example. There might be um, sports day this Friday. Bring your PE kit. So that would be one piece of news. And another piece of news would maybe um, check for nits. Check for nits each week. Now we have to specify a location for our RSS feed. Now I've got um, a Y drive set up, so I want to browse for location. And in this case, we're going to do we're going to do it on a network drive, but you can actually publish directly to a website using FTP as well, which we're not going to cover in this video. But you could actually use this system free of charge for creating RSS feeds for your own website if you wanted to. So back to click on a network drive, browse Y, and publish it to there. Okay. And that's basics of my feed setup, so I'm going to click on OK. Now, what I need to do is to publish this. Now, I'll show you what that's done. So, if we go to our Y drive, it's just created a file called news.xml. Now, if I double click this, now all this strange code is called XML, but essentially you've got two news items check for nets and sports day this Friday. Now the great thing about the RSS feed manager is when you want to update it, you just double click and let's say sports day is finished, it's not on this week so we can remove that item of news. Uh, add another item of news, um, someone is visiting the school, make sure you are here on Friday. Okay, just completely random stuff. So we've still got two news items. You can have as many as you like. Um, now, one key thing is, even though I've changed it so there's different news items, it won't actually change this file until I use the publish button. So when I click on publish, this text file has been updated. So if I double click on it again, you can see that um, we've, we've, we've still got two items, but the, it's been updated to the new one. Okay, so let's have a look how you'd actually use it in repeat signage. So I'm just going to close this window, and all we're going to do is knock up a really quick presentation. Create. Now, repeat signage to display RSS feeds, you click on Insert and Insert Flash RSS Reader. And our files in a local network drive, so we're going to choose that option. Browse and Y drive news.xml. So there's my news file. Click on OK. And I now have scrolling news text. Now, this is just one star for the news, and it's only displaying the first part of the, um, the news. So what I can do is I can change this to RSS scroller 2, which gives you a different sort of um, news feed. And it's showing you the second line. And I'm just going to move this around a little bit. Right mouse click, size, screen width, and there we go. That's our two pieces of news being displayed one after the other. Now, another key thing about this is what repeat signage does is it checks for new versions of an RSS feed. So when there's new news, it obviously needs to download it and, and display it to the to, you know on repeat signage. So if I double click that control and go to the refresh tab this is what controls it checks for outdated content and by default it does it every 15 minutes now we could change that value to one if we wanted to uh, what that means is when this presentation is playing it will check for a new version of the file uh, in this case one minute 
So as soon as you actually publish a new version of the RSS feed, then the presentation will automatically update itself.